Automobilista one doesn't support VR, you are wrong, sir. And we're showing you how right here, right now. Greetings, pedalheads, and welcome to RomRom.net, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing. I'm Serta, and I will be your host for this video. We all know Automobilista 2 has one of the best and less resource hungry implementations of VR in the racing sim market at the moment. Of course, it shares the VR code with Project Cars 2, which, while lacking in other places, had fantastic VR support. But you're here to find out how to race Automobilista 1, Razer's excellent previous sim in VR. Until this mod, Automobilista 1 could mostly be used flat and the ways to use VR with it were cumbersome and truth to be told didn't work on my system no matter how hard I tried. Installing this mod is very easy. There's a text file inside of the archive that explains the very easy steps to use the mod. And luckily, the README doesn't say it all as good as it is. These are the steps I had to take to use Automobilista in VR. A word of caution here. As always, when you change things like this, do a backup of your data, at the very least of the contents of your Automobilista folders. As the README says, I copied the contents of the zip file I downloaded, see the link in the description, to the Automobilista folder on my hard disk. I made sure the graphics setup had Automobilista running on window mode. Now what the README doesn't tell you. Start SteamVR, which in my case also started the Oculus software, before you start Automobilista. Do not start Automobilista through Steam, but start it from the folder. It's the file AMS.exe. Don't put your VR on yet, as the flat menus may appear doubled and you may not be able to navigate them in VR. Use them in the desktop if they don't look right on VR. Do whatever you want to do to start a race. And another word of caution. If you're not able to press the bracket to start the race, you may have to change the resolution of the sim in the graphic menu. I know I had to. And this is how it looks like. Okay, so you see it flat on YouTube. But you see how I'm moving my head and let me tell you it feels very real and very three-dimensional. And you can follow the helicopter missing the race completely. <coughs> I got a little bit overexcited here. As you can see, I also tested it with a mod, you may remember my Reliant Robin review, and it works quite well. The frame rate is also quite acceptable normally. When I tested it with Stadium Super Trucks on Adelaide by late evening, it looked more like a picture composition at Dia Show and less like a sim. But don't think I am protesting, the 3D effect is not perfect, this is a workaround after all, but it's a thousand times better than with flat Automobilista 1 and very, very good indeed. I know it's a hack, you know it's a hack, they know it's a hack, hooray for hackers always trying to find the limits of what is possible. I'm still in shock about how easy it was to set this up, up to a point, but nevertheless easier than all of the other hacks I installed to have VR in Automobilista until now. And this works. This is a fantastic and clever feat of programming, bringing new life to an excellent sim with lots of mods and as it seems, still some juice in it. And I suppose that based on user feedback, this mod, hack, whatever you want to call it, will get steadily better. Let's see what the future brings. If you own Automobilista and a VR system, go and try it out. It turns out you can teach an old dog new tricks. Hopefully we also can show you new tricks, so check the playlist to the left or the video to the right. Until next time, save fuel, collect pickup and we'll see each other on the podium. Visit romrom.net to connect to fellow sim racers and sim racing fans.